Hello and welcome to Radical Living. I'm your host, Shoeless Joe, and today we are talking about the effects of minimalism on kids. This is a response to a question from Kitty Kitterton where she basically asked, what do you think the effects of your parenting as a minimalist to your kids will be? Will it be negative or positive or some mix of the two? And to that I say, I will be the perfect parent. Now I do see what she's getting at. Like there is the possibility that I have to consider of what could the negative effects be of raising my kids in this simple way of living. I mean, I've known people who have lived through the Great Depression where they did not have anything. They were very super, super, super poor. And because of that, when they got older and were able to accrue more money and more wealth, they became hoarders and they held on to everything and they never got rid of a single thing. So what makes me think my kids are going to be any different if I'm forcing my own mini Great Depression upon them and their growing up? Now just to give you a bit of context and background, I live with my wife and three kids. We live in a two-story house out in the country, so it's not like we're living out of a van or something like that. Though not for lack of my desire. So my experience is entirely with five-year-olds and under. And yes, though we do live in a house, we don't have a lot of stuff. My kids don't have tons of toys or anything like that. We have some one-in-one-out rules, like each of the girls has one doll and they have one stuffed animal. I'm going to try not to get too much into exactly my ideas of what the kids have and how much and this and that, because that's just a whole idea for another video. Right now, I think what the main thing you need to know is that they don't have a lot of toys, we don't own a television, and we don't have any home computer or tablet or anything that they have access to play with. So they have their main basic toys and their imaginations and pen and paper, and that's pretty much it. So what kind of effect is this going to have on them as they grow up and grow into adults? Will they become hoarders because of this? Think of the children! Now I want you to know that when I saw this comment, I didn't immediately get defensive. Or at least if I did, I took a step back after I got defensive. And I really questioned and thought, well, what are the effects? Let's look at this objectively. Like, why wouldn't they become hoarders just like a lot of people that lived through the Great Depression did? And to me, the difference is between having basics and having the excess. Like, if you live in a life of poverty, you often cannot have anything that you want, for the most part at least. When Christmas comes around, you don't necessarily get that thing that you really want. You might get something lesser, or you might not get anything at all. Then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the wealthy, or the American middle class, which is pretty much wealthy. And these kids get tons of stuff for Christmas, for their birthday, for everything. They're always getting more and more and more, and they have an excess. But as minimalists, as those who are trying to follow a simple and intentional path, we gotta try to meet in the middle. So rather than all the excess or all the poverty, if we can, we want to come to the center of what is truly important and what we really want or need. So rather than my kids getting too much or too little for Christmas or for birthdays, they get one or two things that they might really want or really need. That way they're not left feeling deprived or in want or in need so much as having what they need and not having the excess. Like, I remember last Christmas when we were at Aaron's mom's house and all of the cousins were opening all these presents and all this stuff, and they, they were all in tons of presents. And my oldest, Cordelia, she opened one thing and it was a doll, and she was so happy. Like, just, you don't even know how happy she was. She carried that doll around with her. She was thrilled. She didn't even notice that everyone else was getting so much more because she was not used to getting much at all, so getting that one thing was huge. And Cordelia said something this Christmas that really hit home to me. I was cleaning up for a party we were having, so I said, we have to put all the new presents and toys away, all right? And she's like, well, you're not getting rid of it, are you, Dad? And I said, no, I'm not. And she said, is it because you know that we really like it that you're not getting rid of it? And I said, yes, yes, that's exactly why. And it just struck me, and I'm so glad that she realized that. Now, to some people, it's terrifying to know that my daughter would ask me if I'm going to get rid of a present that I had just given her. But she's used to getting rid of toys. She's used to me saying, hey, we're not going to use this anymore and we're moving on from it. And I'm so glad she knew when she asked why I wasn't getting rid of it. She knew it was because she really liked it. And that's my whole point. And that's what I want my kids to get out of the way that I'm raising them in this simple way is that you don't get rid of the things that you really, really like or really need. You get rid of the other stuff, the stuff you don't play with anymore, the stuff you don't use. And they are catching on to that. They will say, we don't need this toy anymore. Sometimes they'll just say, hey, we need more space in here. Like, we're, just, we're getting too much stuff. And they'll say, oh, well, we don't really play with this anymore. We don't really need this. 
So to some people it might look like I'm forcing my kids into a life of poverty and want and not having. But that's because we've been so brainwashed by everything that society tells us that we should have. And really I'm giving my kids a life of simplicity and focus. Because every time they get a new doll, I never heard them complain about the fact that they have to get rid of the old one. And when given the choice, they don't really have a problem with choosing between two things. Like if I say, hey, we, got, we don't have room for all this stuff, which of these toys would you like to keep and which would you like to get rid of? And that's empowering for them to know that it's in their power to choose which one they want to keep. And yes, there have been times when they are just like, we really like both of them, we really want both of them. And then you know what I do? Then it's on me to figure out how I can make that work and how we can keep it minimal but keeping both of these things. So Kitty Kitterton, I hope that answered your question that no, I don't feel like it's going to make them hoarders. I think it's going to give them an appreciation for what they do have and what a lot of other people don't. So thank you so much for that question. It really made me think and I hope it makes everyone watching this video think. So everyone, let me know what you think. Do you think that maybe kids might become hoarders being raised a minimalist? Or do you think not? Or aren't you sure? What I don't know. Well, I don't know. You tell me. Maybe I'm missing something. And keep the comments and questions coming. I love to hear what you guys are thinking and I love to respond to them. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, keep it simple, question everything, and stay radical. <laughs>